Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Star Stitches. Hope you are all doing okay and keeping warm in the freezing weather that we seem to be having at the moment. Um, yeah, hope you're having a lovely weekend. Um, we're only two weeks away now, aren't we, from, from Christmas, so it's going quick. Right, Kew Gardens. So as some of you know, if you've been watching all of my videos, um, I went to Kew Gardens on Friday for the Amigurumi Botanical Workshop. So I did the looping in June of this year. I missed, I didn't get on on time um, for the September one for the Zinnia, um, but I did manage to get hold of myself uh, a Zinnia kit somebody was selling, so that's good. And yes, yeah, so I was there on Friday the 9th up at Kew, a very frosty and, and chilly Kew, but lovely day, um, for the last workshop from before Christmas. So yeah, I went up, drove up again um, by myself and I wasn't meeting anybody there. Um, so yeah, it was just over about two hours, 15 minutes. I left at 7am, got there about quarter past nine. Um, the workshop started at half past 10. So it gives me time to, you know, have something to eat, go and walk around from the car park. So um, yes, that was 10.30 till 1.30. So the courses are three hours long. Um, and obviously Kerry doesn't talk for the whole thing. She'll do bits and bobs and then she'll move around and walk around the tables. Um, it's 90 people they have spaces for, because I remember talking to Beth in the summer um, for like how many she hand dyed. So let's show you what I got. I did make a couple of purchases because I had a small amount of stock. So I'll show you that afterwards. But so I've got my bag here, my Crow Your Own. Um, I'm going to pull this out so I don't show you. So we've got here were the goodies that we had. Um, and here we have some half used uh, ruby glass beads, as you can see. Um, we did get a candy cane on our bags because it's Christmas, but also I will show you this is what we were making. So this is called a candy cane sorrel. Um, so this is the pattern that we've got. Um, that we're aiming to work towards um, and I'll show you the back of the, oh, I'll go in the middle, show you the back of the flower there. So this is the back and this is the front. I'll hold it a bit closer so you can see there is a little face on there. Um, so yeah, so it wasn't hand dye, but it was, we've got beads in our kit. So we've just got the normal, if you can see in there, cream, ruby, green and beads. Um, we got our, obviously our little tag from our kit as well. So that is what we're making. So bag just had stuffing in um, and we got um, a hook and a toft pencil, which I like because you can only get these at the kit, uh, the kits, the workshops. So um, they don't seem to sell these online, which is nice. So I've got a little collection of toft pencils now. Um, stuffing. Anyway, right. This is how far I have got so far so i had only got up to about here by the end of the workshop because of concentrating because we were doing color changing and beadwork on the same stitches so um we were all trying to concentrate and obviously we had to thread up all our beads first um so yeah that's as far as i got sort of by the workshop and then last night i finished and added these um petals so you can see but the interesting thing about this is, can you see inside the flower? So um, you end up, let's see if I can pull it out without ruining mine. You end up making an internal piece. So it's all one piece. So it's, you end up crocheting some petals and then carrying on and reattaching so that it hides all of the colour change that you've got inside for these. I mean, it looked really pretty inside because you changed from the red to the white and it was really neat. Um, but you end up carrying on and crocheting this piece, which A, hides it and B, makes the centre of the flower inside. So because this is still not attached yet, I can pull that down a little bit. So it kind of makes the sort of flower detail inside, if you see what I mean. Obviously, you don't have, have like stem, stamens and stems and I don't know all the right words. You know what I mean. Um, and all the uh, pollen, etc. in the middle, but that is the inside. It reminds me a little bit of Little Shop of Horrors. I don't know why. Or a Venus flytrap inside. 
anyway um so lots of beads and sparkle if you can see there um around the edge and it is a slight swirl i mean as you crochet kerry said it will swirl slightly they don't stay in straight lines um to sort of twist as you crochet so that is the main headpiece if you like um from the pattern that is done but we have extra petals here so that's the three inner and then i've got three petals to make to go sort of they can sit in between here so they'll go here here and that'll be a three um so i've got to make those obviously and make all the limbs um we didn't start with that at the workshop unless you were a beginner because kerry obviously said you want to do the main bit and also for the, the bit that she wants to walk us through and show us that people might need help with um obviously arms legs body where if you're not a beginner you know where you're at with that with toft um so that is yes the candy cane sorrel that we got given um so yeah really good day i met uh three lovely ladies uh funnily enough in the car park and we realized we'd all traveled from the same area down on the south coast which was hilarious we could have all probably car shared so that was really nice so we all sat together um and we're probably going to try and meet up for a crochet in the cuppa in the new year um i also met wendy who follows on here hello wendy um you came up to say hello at the end which was lovely thank you so much um as I always say, I always think it's going to be me waffling to myself on these videos. So it's lovely if any of you do spot me at a workshop and you happen to watch, um, come say hi. Because it is lovely, um, yeah, to know that I'm not just waffling to myself or my husband on here. <laughs> and Wendy asked for more waffling. So I'll try at some point, Wendy. Um, and yeah, sorry to have not met your daughter, Jessica, because I know both of you watch these videos. So um, yeah, hopefully see you again at the next one. Um, so let me think there were a few questions that were asked at the end so um, the next workshop is March um, that's already sold out with Q there is one showing for July there is a date but whether it's a firm date um, Kerry said that one so the March one is going to follow the same pattern as 90 people in the Nash Conservatory up at Q but the summer one they're looking to do something a bit bigger um, to accommodate more people and be in the evening because I think we found the June one we were all sweltering in that conservatory it was so so hot we happened to have like the hottest week of the year for weather um so yeah looking for keep out an eye out for the July one because it sounds like they're going to open it up to a greater number of people and a higher number of tickets and it's going to be more evening based whether that's like late afternoon early evening we don't know um new uh not new but the um oh, shows yarn shows i asked that question um kerry said there aren't really any new ones coming up so they're going to the same sort of ones that they do each year so i think they've got unravel next year um i think that's normally in february time and just the regular shows throughout the year book tour because she's been talking to john lewis about doing a book tour again because i think she did that pre lockdown so this was before i found toft um, and it looks to be that's going to be in the autumn time because what they'll do is they'll team it up and have it for both um, Alexandra's Garden, the flowers and Alexandra's Garden, the vegetables that we can, the book that we know is now out, uh, coming out. So I think they're going to do it sort of to coincide with the both of them. Um, so that will be autumn time and hopefully a few extra venues than um, were previous um venues i don't think i have a john lewis close to down here i think chichester might be the closest might have to venture have a look and see in advance where my john lewis's are um trying to think what else workshops wise somebody asked would there be more workshops up, up north it's funny because us down south want toff to come to more yarny festivals but they don't seem to be many down here and those up north want more workshops up north so is trying to find a happy medium i guess um and yeah kerry said she's already um knows what's going to be advent next year she's already thinking about that and getting that underway um so she finds confusing coming back to this one because she's already in 20 end of 23 beginning of 2024 so yeah so that was cute really good day finished off about half past one left there at about two ish and got home about quarter past 20 past four so 
from the south coast it's not too bad um we do hit some rush hour traffic but actually at the moment with me picking up everything going it's quite i think a better choice for me to drive up in the car than try and get the train and train from down here because we're leaving in rush hour is like 60 70 pounds and obviously at the moment with strikes and things you could end up having problems so so yeah all in all really good day i'm always really anxious before i go both because of the drive and because of not knowing anybody when i go up there but as with these because we're all tofties you always meet such lovely people um always you know somebody's chat to so i sat with uh, three ladies uh kelly elspeth and sean so hello if any of you happen to spot this um yeah it was really lovely to meet them and to know that they're sort of around this area as well so we can meet up um which would be nice because yeah it's lovely to have sort of something in common a crochet in common um because i don't really have many friends apart from steph who has now taught to crochet um to actually go to these things with right let me show you what i purchased it's only three things um i have ordered an extravaganza um i ordered myself aran yarn and the kit for making the santa hat which i'm hoping will come soon with even with the strike so that i can get cracking and make my christmas hat otherwise i'm not gonna be able to wear it um but i did purchase just in case it doesn't arrive in time um some yarn so i purchased um a ruby aran while i was up there but then i realized looking at the pattern the pattern starts on the rib bit which is i want as cream um <laughs> so and it's cream aran so yeah so i'll have to wait for my um package to arrive but yeah so i've got ruby aran i might have enough left to make a second one and force hubby to wear it he'd love that um and so i did pick up in case i want to do some stripes or some different elements to it some toft aran festive silver i don't think they have much left of this now i know the dk they only had in 25 gram balls and that was when I ordered for extravaganza on Thursday afternoon. So it it may may be dwindling. So there's festive silver, as you can see the sparkle in Aaron. And then finally, I could have ordered this with my kit and then I chose not to. And then when I saw them at the old um, queue on Friday, I decided to get one pom-pom. This one's got a string on though, not a press stud. So I'll have to work out on, obviously we'll just thread it through the hat when I come to it and attach it. Um, I'm holding it too far down there. Yeah, this is a little lovely pom-pom. Um, I wonder if these are made out of like, what are they made out of? They are alpaca. I was gonna say, I wonder if they're the alpaca wool. So yeah, outer 100% alpaca, inner polyester, brush clean only, made in Peru. There you go. It's like Paddington, it's come from Peru. So there is my pom-pom to go on top of my hat, or I'll just wear it. There you go. Um, so yeah, that, that's what I've purchased. And obviously I also made an Ed Stravaganza purchase as well. Um, I have got for Christmas, Hubby has um, agreed to add his bank account, <laughs> um, Dolls Club. So I had Flora Society this time last year for my Christmas present, um, which obviously I've, is now done. I haven't made them, but it's done. They're all with me. Um, so I've asked for Dolls Club this year because I quite like the look of the dolls and it being women through history. So obviously I'm going to get the first, I know what the first one is because I get sent the first one straight away. Um, but at least that'll be something he can present to me on Christmas Day. And I might be lucky and I might get a free kit in with it from Toft if they're putting them in with the subscriptions. Um, so yeah, so we'll sign up for that and we'll see how we go through the year for that one. So I'll be joining you on Dolls Club. But otherwise, that's it on Toft and Q from me. Um, I think I've got one more video I'm going to upload for you as well, which I recorded on Friday. Um, but for now, I will leave you to enjoy the last of your weekend. Have a good uh, rest of your Sunday. Um, have a good week and hopefully some goodies might arrive in the week that I can then open and share with you um, next weekend but hopefully I'm back on I feel quite a bit better today I'm still quite blocked but back on the road to recovery and hopefully touch the wood she says I don't pick up anything else so yeah feeling a bit better now so anyway 
stop waffling. <laughs> I'll see you all next week. Take care. Bye.